All right, you guys, today is the day. It's finally here. I am on my way to go pick up my puppy, Ari. Um, she's in Ohio, so it's gonna be about a four and a half hour drive. Um, I was wanting to leave this morning, but I kind of left my phone in my friend's car and I just got it back and it's 2 p.m. So I'm not even gonna be like getting there till like six or seven. So I'm not gonna get home till like 10 or 11. I just moved into my new apartment yesterday and I'm getting my dog today. So yeah, time for me to drive for like four and a half hours. And then I'm so excited to see her and show you guys little Ari. She's a multi poo. I've wanted one of these dogs since I was like 15. So I can't believe it's finally happening. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys. Oh, also, um, I have, I got a little car seat for her. And then I have like the puppy pads. And then I got this um, fuzzy baby blanket for her. I have some treats, a little donut squeaker toy. And then it looks like a little pee in the pod, like peas in the pod. And then a little food dish. And I did bring some dog food and her collar and her leash. That's what I brought with me. But yeah, all right, well it's time to hit the road. I'm already running late. So I'll tune in with you guys when we get there. Bye. All right, so I am in Pennsylvania. I just stopped at a gas station to fill up the tank. I'm like just under halfway there. And I stopped at Burger King, grabbed me an Oreo shake. Mm. Snack for the road. I usually don't get very many milkshakes, but I was like, sounds pretty good. And there's a Raising Cane's on the way there. And um, yeah, they don't have Raising Cane's where I'm at, like in Buffalo and stuff. So the last time I had it was when I was in Texas. So I'm gonna stop at Raising Cane's for dinner on the way there, give me some extra cane sauce. But anyway, time to hit the road again. All right, so I'm in line at Kane's, and holy cow, this uh, line is pretty long, but hopefully it doesn't take too long because I really want it, and I don't want to delay getting little baby Ari. But seriously, look at this line. It wraps around the building and then comes in front of me. I'm like, oh boy. But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. That. That Oreo shake really hit the spot, but now I need more food. And it's drive through only, and I kind of need to pee, but I guess we're waiting. <laughs> I'll take plenty of stops on the way back to let Ari out, and so I'll hopefully get to go to the bathroom too. Okay, see when I got my food. Hey, 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 what's the chicken today? Hi, can I get a four finger? Um, combo with extra cane sauce. Thank you. All right, you guys, I got the goods. I'm not gonna eat the bread, but I got the chicken fingers, the cane sauce. I'm not gonna eat the coleslaw either. And the french fries, let's go. Well, baby, Ari and I made it home. Say hi. Say hello. She's so beautiful. She's so tiny. She was amazing the whole car ride home. She fell asleep in my lap and then I put her in her little car seat and she fell asleep in there. It was a super late night and it's like 1.30. We just got home, but she was awesome. Super sweet and um, yeah, it's a really late night tonight, so I will show you guys our first day hanging out tomorrow. I'll show you all the stuff I got for her. But yeah, it's time for us to get ready to go to bed and have a good night. And we will see you tomorrow. Say good night, Ari. Good night. Good night, Miss Ari. I love you, little baby. I'll see you in the morning. Sweet dreams, beautiful. Well, I slept for about four hours. Then she's whining, so hopefully she goes potty. And then I might take a nap. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Ollie. Good morning. Hi, baby. Good 
Good morning, guys. It is 8.03 in the morning, and I fell asleep at like 3.30, but then this little girl was whining, so I got up and took her outside. How are you, baby? How are you, beautiful? We're gonna um, give her a bath today, I think, and then I'm gonna take a shower, but first, I'm gonna make me a cup of coffee because I'm sleepy, and it's, I don't think I'm gonna go back to sleep anytime soon, because I'm gonna need to take her out and stuff and play with her and keep getting stuff set up in the apartment. So, yeah, I need coffee. Mm -hmm. Say good morning. Good morning. She's so cute, so tiny. What's your toy? You have all of her toys so far. These little peas in the pod seem to be her favorite. And I think it's because like the little grippy texture and it'll help with her teething and it's a little fun one to chew. But she only likes to chew on it if I'm holding it. <laughs> Ari, you're gonna learn this is my favorite time of the day. It's coffee time. Got my baby. And my coffee. Who's happier than me right now? You like the smell of coffee too? You like the smell of coffee too? You can't have coffee though because coffee's not for doggies and you already have more energy than I do. You hear the birdies outside? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I boot your nose. Yes, I did. I love her so much. She just wants to snuggle and be held right now. And I'm here for it. Maybe she'll want to play later. I think she's still like feeling a little nervous because I mean she kind of like runs around and like gets playful for a little bit but she mostly just wants to play with me not her toys. But I think she just likes my attention. Are you all clean? Are you all clean? You ready to get out of the bath? You're so tiny. Look at you. You're even smaller with all your hair down. You got your first little bath, baby. Good girl. Yeah, you did so good. You barely even cried till the end. Good girl. I'll clean. I'll clean. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Ari, are we going shopping? Yes, yeah, she wants it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Isn't she so cute? She is kind of cute. You're like a little football. All right, so we're gonna try and teach you how to sit today. Sit, yes, good girl, Ari, good girl. No, that's a lay. Sit, yes, good girl. Sit, yes, good girl. Sit, yes, good girl. Sit. Ari, can you sit? Ari, sit? Yes, sit. Good girl. And you're so amazing. Very good. 
You got your donut? Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> Get your donut. Get your donut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you silly girl. You lost it. You don't even know what you're doing, silly goose. Silly goose. Silly goose. Here, here's your donut. You found it. There you go. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it is actually the next day. Um, this will be my second full day with Ari. So I got her Saturday night. Um, yesterday was Sunday. And today is Monday. And, um,. So I didn't get as much video as I was hoping because it's been a really hectic weekend. Like I moved and got a dog in like the same weekend. So it's been crazy trying to um, get everything moved, make sure I have everything I need. I still have a lot to set up. Um, I'm actually streaming tonight, but um, as you saw, I put some videos because I did have my phone and I took some Snapchat videos. We took little Miss Ari to um, TG Maxx for her first little shopping trip because they actually allow dogs in TG Maxx and Marshalls and stuff. And I didn't know that till I looked it up recently, but everyone was like stopping us. Uh, well, I went with Leanna and like people were like coming across aisles to be like oh my gosh is that a real dog she's so cute what kind of dog is she how old is she what's her name can i pet her like it was it was so cute i was like oh yeah and she was so quiet she did not whine at all like she mostly like leanna and i took turns holding her or like putting her in like the baby section of the cart with her little blanket and she was just chilling not trying to run away not trying to bark at anybody and like she's just been so mellow um yesterday she got to meet shelby liana aiden uh, lisa who else did she meet oh she met grandma and um she's just such a sweet little snuggly mellow dog so um the first night that i had her she was probably just exhausted but i'm um I'm gonna be, I'm crate training her, so she's sleeping in her bed, in her crate, and like, she keeps going in there on her own. Like, I didn't even, like, use treats or anything. She just likes it in there. Um, I guess she feels comfortable in there, and I, I love that. Right now, um, she actually just put herself in there. Hang on, let me show you guys. See? There's little Miss Ari. <laughs> She's so cute. But yeah, she just walked in there by herself. Oh, and I got a new mirror, guys. It's huge. At first, I started off with her crate in the living room, not in my room, just to see how she would do. And the first night, um, she went in her crate, and then I closed the door, and I was worried she was going to keep me up all night. But she, after like 15 minutes, she whined like one time for like 10 seconds, and then she fell asleep. Um, but it was also a super long night because um, we drove, I got her from Ohio, so we drove like four and a half hours um, to go get her and uh, she just fell asleep in my lap or in her little doggy car seat bed that I have and um, let me set my tripod down. Okay, that's better. So yeah, she was just like chilling in her little, you can't really, there she is, she's over there. She's like falling asleep. But yeah, she sat in her little crate uh, or her little car seat that I have like the whole time. She was sleeping most of the time, either sleeping or just looking at me. So she was super um, chill from the beginning. Anyway, so where am I getting it? Okay, yeah. So when I first brought her home, it was like one in the morning when I got home. So we pretty much just like, I put her on the leash, let her walk around outside a little bit, go to the bathroom, and then we came home. And I put her in her little bed and she just like laid there and like fell asleep, had no issues. And then yesterday, um, Leanna wanted to come see the puppy. So I was like, I'll come pick you up. You can see my new place, see the puppy. And um, yeah, so she went shopping with us and she absolutely loved Ari. Ari loved her back. And um, they were like just 
like snuggling and playing all day. It was so cute. And um, yeah, so she was super good. And then, um, and they said that they didn't really do any training with her at all before I got her. She's 10 weeks old right now. She like walked in her crate all by herself and laid down at like 8.45. She like put herself to bed. And um, after a while, I just closed the gate and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed. Then I was laying down in my bed and at like 11 something, she just starts like whining and then the whining gets louder and louder. So I was like, okay, well maybe, cause I did leave water in her crate. And I don't know if I should have done that either, but I left water in her crate. So I was like, okay, well maybe she does need to pee really bad. She's little. So I got up out of bed. <laughs> I was so tired. So I got up out of bed, put her on her leash, brought her outside, and she did pee outside, so that was good. And then whenever we came back inside, I just moved her crate into my room. So I was like, well, she is starting to get more attached, so maybe that's why she was fine with it the first night, because she wasn't really getting attached at all. But then last night she started crying quite a bit. So I brought her in my room, the crying stopped. She fell asleep. She still slept in her crate in her bed. Um, and then I woke up at, it was almost the exact same time as yesterday. It was like 7.25, seven something, earlier than I'm used to. But um, yeah, she started whining just a little bit. I waited for her to stop whining. And then I went over, took her outside and we, she went potty and then uh, we played for a little bit and then I just used some treats to try and teach her her name so she knows to come to me whenever I call her. And I also just changed her name to Ari. It was originally Rosie with um, the people she came from. So I'm trying to teach her her name because that's the beginning of all of it. I'm hoping she'll know her name and sit soon. But yeah, so that was my first First little bit of time with my new baby, Ari. She is, she's sleeping in her crate right now. But um, yeah, so I wanted to do a vlog for Ari and my apartment, but it kind of all is meshing together. So hopefully I don't get them too mixed up and hopefully they're both clear. I had no plan on what to do with either one, but I'm obsessed with her and I can't wait to see how quick she learns and how fast she grows. She's so tiny right now. I picked her up and I was like, are you even real? Oh, one of the, there was one guy at TJ Maxx, he was like shopping with his wife or something. And um, he looked at, he looked at me, he's like, hey, do you want to put her in here? And he just like held out his wife's purse. I was like, only if I could keep the purse, but it was so cute. Like everyone just adores her and loves her. And I'm definitely going to make sure to introduce her to lots of people, other pets, and you know, keep her very socialized. I wanted to get it on camera, but I just got that new mirror. I just got the new mirror and she walked in front of it earlier and she was so confused because she saw her reflection for the first time and she was like just pacing back and forth. I think I'll show you what I got for her and then we will go ahead and close the vlog. But yeah, oh, there she goes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm back with her stuff. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is I got one of those little boards. And I need to take a picture in front of it still, but I'm gonna get a cute little picture of her and post it on my Instagram. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna be that person. <laughs> so I actually got one of these like airtight containers at TJ Maxx. It's just one where it's got like a little thing. Um, so she's on the Nutrisource puppy small breed dog food right now. And um, she didn't really eat a whole lot like the like the first morning, like yesterday morning when she was here, but then like in the afternoon she started to eat and I was like, thank goodness. So she definitely started to relax more. Um, necessity, dog poop bags, and it come, it came with like a little, I'll show you her leash, but it came with like a little um, holder for her leash to put them on. So 
These will last a little while. <laughs> and then um, these are the training treats I got for her. Um, they had really awesome reviews and like the ingredients are literally lamb, salmon, chickpeas, potatoes, like actually like real ingredients in here that are like good for them. So, and then um, to go with it, I actually, to match all the mugs and her dishes, I saw this at TJ Maxx, it says rewards. And so I got some, there's not really many in here right now, but I have some that I've already like torn up into little pieces because those squares are a little bit big and I don't want to give her too many treats while we're training. So I broke them up into little pieces that are about the size of her dog food. Um, so I got that. And so the first set of toys that I picked out, I think the other one is in the car, in her little car seat, but it's a little puppuccino toy. And it came with two donuts. There's this one, there's one that looks like it has chocolate icing and they all have little squeakers in them. She didn't even look up, she's so tired. But they all have little squeakers. And this donut was like the first, well, no, second toy that she actually started chewing on. So there's those. And then, um, so her leash, her collar's on right now. But I just got this, um, I don't know how long it'll stay white, but it's like a white, velvety um, leash and collar. And they have like the rose gold clips. So there's the matching ones. And then I already put, I'm not crazy about the yellow thing, but it's not a big deal. But that's her little poop bag color. Have that on her leash. It's been raining for like, ever since I picked her up. So it's like every time I bring her out, it's like raining. And I gave her a bath yesterday, but then I have to keep bringing her out in the rain and I'm like, sorry girl. So that's fun. Um, but anyway, so then, Oh, I actually picked this up yesterday while we were at TJ Maxx and my rug that I have in the living room is like a really fuzzy white rug and so like I wanted to get something and just for the different textures while they're teething anyway so I got something like rope so I was like if she has a toy like this hopefully it'll keep her from chewing on my rug and she hasn't really tried to mess with it. There was one, like maybe one time she tried to chew on it but then I just gave her this and she completely ignored the rug so this has a squeaker too. She didn't look up again. She's so funny. But yeah, so far this seems to be her favorite toy. So, and it's so cute. It's almost the same color as her. And then I got these um, pet eye wipes just to help with like the staining, like the tear stains and stuff on her face. So I need to use these today. They say to use them like once a day, but um, she already had a little bit of staining on her eyes whenever I picked her up. So I definitely want to be using these to keep her ice clean. And then I got this little brush. She's like, um, supposed to be like a hypoallergenic dog. She Because she's a mix of a Maltese and a Poodle, she has hair, not really fur, so like it keeps growing. So she doesn't really shed a whole lot. But I got the brush with the little button to like clean out the hair whenever it does get full. But there's hardly anything in here. And I've brushed her like three times already. So. But, um, and then I got this little speaker ball. Pretty self-explanatory, it's really soft. Um, yeah, she's like zonked. She's not even looking when I squeak these. <laughs> but she has been playing with that. And then, um, like I showed you earlier, the little peas in the pod, like the chewy looking ones, came in a pack of three on Amazon. Um, there's this one, the pink one, and there's a light green one, the green one's in the car. Um, and she does awesome on car rides. She literally just lays down and like goes to sleep. Like I've held her, Leanna held her. She lays down in her car seat. And like she didn't have any accidents. She didn't get sick in the car. She didn't cry. She just was chilling. So, and then I also got, oh, the soap that I have. It's just like the Burt's Bees, like the unscented thing. And then I also got this um, conditioning spray just to help keep her fur from getting matted up, then I can brush it nicely. Um, and it says, tested on humans first. So, I picked this up at TJ Maxx too before I got her. So, and it actually smells pretty nice. Yeah, just like a subtle, nice smell. And then I got her this Kong, but at first I thought they were just toys, but then I realized people use them to like 
help with like separation anxiety and all different training stuff so um, but to do that they say you need like multiple so I haven't given her this yet because I'm thinking maybe I'll get more of these and then this is like the soft one I got it on Amazon but it's like one of the soft ones for puppies and teething and all that good stuff so um, I might get a couple more and try feeding her with these just to like I said because they say that multi poos tend to get pretty bad separation anxiety like more than other breeds even sometimes because they just they're just snuggly dogs that like want to be around you all the time and she definitely seems like that so yeah I might try and get some more of these and use this to feed her um, we will see and then um, I got some wipes just because like I said it's been raining and the grass is wet so like you know her her paws and like underside of her belly and her face they like get wet and stuff and these are supposed to just help keep her fresh between baths i did give her a bath yesterday and she didn't really cry till the end so i think she just got cold and then obviously i got little scissors for trimming up her face they have like the dull end so obviously you don't like poke a dog and then i got this cute little basket to put like all her toys and stuff in it's just a, I got this from TJ Maxx. It's just a like, little woven basket. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I think you guys pretty much saw everything. Um, she's still just sleeping and chilling. But yeah, that's uh, me getting my little girl, Ari. She's such a sweetie. Um, and I'm sure you'll definitely see more of her on my channel and on my streams. And my Instagram, she's just gonna like take over everything. She's such a sweetheart. And I can't believe she's real and that she's mine. Like I've wanted a dog since I was 15. Um, so, and she's even more perfect than I could have imagined. Like she's so sweet, she's so cute. Um, and she's already like getting attached to me and stuff. So, can't really see it right now, but that's just cause she's like tired. Cause we did, we did play quite a bit and um, and like I said, I did some training, trying to teach her her name to like come to me and um, and she's just been through a lot, you know, like she went from Ohio to New York with a stranger and she's probably exhausted, but she's so sweet and she follows me everywhere and I love her. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Good girl. Hi, baby. Hi. Are you getting tired? <laughs>